Okay guys, welcome back to Ashmore Arboretum. And today on the homestead, I want to show you some tomato plants that are suffering from a calcium and phosphorus deficiency. What we have here is we have a variety of, I believe this is a beefsteak variety of tomato. And if you notice that these leaves have started to curl up and they become very rigid. They're not, they're not soft and supple like the other leaves are. And they are showing uh, symptoms of chlorosis. We have some interventional chlorosis right here on this leaf. You know, chlorosis at the tips down here. These leaves are curling up and they're becoming very rigid and, and stiff and it almost feels like a leathery texture. This is a telltale sign of a um, calcium and phosphorus deficiency. Um, we have beginning stages of blossom end rot back there. So that's a calcium deficiency. But the, the leaves curling up like this, this tells me that this plant needs phosphorus. So how are we going to add phosphorus back to our soil? Well, there's a couple different methods of doing that, but one of the most effective methods of adding phosphorus back to the soil is using bone meal. By using bone meal, bone meal is a natural and this variety anyway is an organic product. It's made with animal bones and I do plan on trying to make some of my own at a later date. I just don't have the supplies to do it at this time. But this bone meal, it, it has a 680 NPK factor and this adds phosphorus and calcium back to our soil. Now with this, this is a 60 square foot bed. So I'm gonna need roughly three cups of bone meal for this entire bed. And what this will do is I'll, I'll spread this across the soil at the base of these plants. I'll water it in well, and then this should start being absorbed by the root system of these plants relatively quickly. Now it will have to break down a little bit before it can be used by the plants, but it happens rather fast. So let me go ahead and get this open. I'll get things prepared and I'll show you how I spread this out across our, our raised bed. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you what this bone meal looks like. It's just powdered bones. Powdered bones, that's all it is. And like I said, I'm gonna need three cups for this 60 square foot bed. And all I'm gonna do I'm just going to go around and I'm going to sprinkle this around the, the base of our tomato plant. Just like that. And I'm going to continue this process all the way down. I'll be right back. Okay, folks. I don't know what happened to the, the video, but I tried to put it on hyperspeed and it, did, it just shut off. So I do apologize about that. I lost the, the section of the video where it was showing me spreading this out, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I take a half cup measuring cup and I scoop out some bone meal and I spread it around these plants. And I'm going to need six of them because I need three cups total for this 20 foot bed. So. We're gonna get this spread around here. I'm gonna get it watered in and then it should start working its magic. It'll take a little bit of time. So I hope I was able to teach you guys something about how to identify a problem and how to take care of an issue in your tomato plants. And if you learned something, please like, share, and subscribe my videos. It gives me the motivation to continue to go ahead and do this. So until next time, thanks for watching.